It's a nice, peaceful Monday morning. The sun is shining, birds are chirping, and the leaves are vibrant with color. Ah, yes. It's another beautiful day like any other. But wait, what's that? That bright light can only mean one thing! An atomic bomb has just got off! These bombs are so powerful, they can send a wave of fire and destruction for miles and miles throughout the city. But what can one do to prevent such horrors onto our society? It's very important you know what to do when an atomic bomb hits. You must know the steps and procedures in protecting you and everyone around you. We know atomic bombs are dangerous, so we need to be ready for them at any time. Just as we are ready for other dangers that surround us, such as homeless people, microwaves, ducks. Even dangers that exceed our comprehension are able to be controlled and anticipated for. Take women for example. Yes, women are a danger especially unmarried independent women, but there are ways of taking care of them, treating them as objects rather than people as one. Also, paying them less money than men is a great way to keep them controlled. If you happen to be married to a woman, it's far more easier to subdue one. Just simply tap them on the cheek, and that should keep them at bay for quite some time. Homosexuals are a danger too. They make one think about things no God-loving sportsman should ever think about. But we are ready. We have gay repellent spray as to spray the gays away from you and your family. Just remember to spray every three hours as to keep them away, as gays tend to hunt in groups and are willing to wait as long as they need to. But now we have to be ready for a new danger. RACIAL EQUALITY! Jim, Jim, uh, can we do that again? The film is about the atomic bomb and what we do when they strike, not racial equality. It's not about black people? No, uh, you, you should have been talking about the atomic bombs for the past couple of minutes. Did, do you not remember? I mean, I remember, but I, I just feel that we should really talk about this more than some silly bombs. It's, it's very important, you know. Yeah, but Jim, we just wrapped Dangers of Negroes in America Part 7, okay? We need to do the video about atomic bombs. Can we please do that, Jim? Uh, fine! We'll continue talking about your little bombs. But you know what? There better be a bottle of bourbon for me next week in the studio, because I got lots to say about these Negroes, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I can tell. All right, let's, let's just keep going, okay? Just uh, say atomic bombs for me. Can you do that? Atomic bombs? Yes, I could do that. ATOMIC BOMBS! First, we must know what happens when an atomic bomb explodes. You will know when it comes. There will be a bright flash, brighter than anything you have ever seen. Then, the impact will send a wave of wind so strong that if you are not ready, it can knock you off your feet and injure you. If you duck and cover, you'll be much safer. How do you do this? Get yourself in a fetal position, protecting your neck and face the best you can. Try to duck and cover underneath a table, or a desk, or anything of the sort. Even if you are outside, try to duck and cover the best you can. If you are outside when the bomb strikes and have nowhere to hide, drop everything and find a near wall and get yourself in a fetal position. Remember, protect your neck and face as best as possible. There are two situations you can find yourself when an atomic bomb strikes with warning and without. You may be out in the schoolyard when the signal comes. This alarm means to stop what you are doing and get to the safest place as quickly as possible, no matter where you may be. Either on patrol. Or at the office. Even at home. Or just anywhere. You have to be ready and know to react appropriately when the alarm goes off. And head to your nearest designated bomb shelter. 
There will be signs to guide you to find the nearest shelter. Remember to act quickly and we do not want to be in an unsafe place for too long. The shelter should be at least three feet underground, made by strong material as to not allow nuclear radiation to enter the shelter. If these requirements are met, you should be safe to relax. The most important thing is to keep a leveled head and act calm. Although a bomb has gone off, we have to remember we are still a society and we should follow society's rules. Act logically, reasonably, and know your own place. Make sure your shelter has the necessary equipment to keep you and everyone else alive for weeks to come. A two-week supply should be sufficient. Have cots and sleeping bags, blankets, food such as canned goods and dry food, plenty of water, and be sure not to forget basic needs such as sugar, cocaine, butter, and most important of all, lots and lots of cigarettes as they are a staple to any American diet. As for equipment, make sure you have an AM to FM radio, flashlights, a first aid kit, and two buckets, one to dispose of trash and another to dispose of human waste. Be ever vigilant to your AM to FM radio as to hear further information on what is happening outside. If it is safe, one of you may check outside to be sure everyone can leave the shelter. Once outside, look to see if there are other people. Talk to them and see if they have any information about the nuclear bomb and see how long they have been outside their own shelter. Well, I guess that's the end of the video class. Uh, any questions or comments or anything? Oh, uh, yes. That's what the world was like back then. A bunch of stupid ugly idiots. <laughs> <laughs>